hey there guys, guess who scored some free Camtasia? This guy, so you notice that there's a lot crappier webcam. That is because it's my webcam, not the school sweet 1080p webcam. But look what else I have. This thing, yay, I can write on this paper. Came to my attention uh, when I was looking through uh, your papers that I totally uh, didn't tell you what I meant by like genotype and phenotype ratio and uh, what I was expecting out of probabilities. So we're going to go through 11, 12, and 13 here in the worksheet real uh, nice and quickly. Right? So for the most part you guys did your Punnett squaring like perfectly, right? Big T, big T, big T, little t. Over here gets a big T, comes down, little t comes over, and then a little bit of little t, little t. And that was perfect. What we kind of messed up with genotype and phenotype ratios, and to do this, you have to count them. The genotypes, those are the T's here, right? So we need to look, be looking at the T's. So uh, let's go ahead and do a genotype ratio. I have one of them as the big T, big T, all right? Ratio usually means you put the colon in the middle, but you don't have to. I have two of them that are big T, little t, and then I have one of them that's little t, little t. That right there, that is my genotype ratio. And you guys remember how bad my handwriting is before? Well, it's even worse on this thing. Yay! Let's do the phenotype ratio. That's pretty easy because you're going to have uh, these three here. The big T, big T, the big T, little t, and the big T, little t. All three of those are tall. So your ratio here, you're going to have three that are tall. And then you have your little t, little t. That one is short to your one. And that one is short. It's always a good idea when you're doing... Oh, yeah, that looks awful. Looks like a third grader wrote it. Yes! It's always a good idea to put in your, uh, you know, your terms, your tall versus your short, that way everybody knows that you understand that this should be tall or short and right. Let's try the medium then. Alright, so down here for the probabilities, that one's actually pretty easy. Again, the genotypes, you have to break down all the different genotypes. You got a big T, big T, big T, little t, and a little t, little t. But here we're going to do it as a probability. So what's the probability of getting this and that is going to be 1 out of 4 have the problem. So there's a 25% chance of it being big T, big T, because that's 1 out of 4. There's a 50% chance, percent chance of being big T, little t, because you can see over here it's 2 out of 4. And then down here it's a 25% chance of it being little t, little t. Those are the genotype probabilities. The phenotype probabilities are pretty easy. You'll notice, again, uh, three tall versus the one short. So that's three out of four. That's 75% possibility of having a tall plant. And uh, they have a 25% chance of getting a short plant. That is how you do genotype and phenotype probabilities and ratios. I know it's a little bit more writing than you guys like, but make sure that you put in the tall and the short, and make sure you totally need to put in your different genotype possibilities, because otherwise I won't know that you know how to actually count. So there's that. Thanks for watching, everybody, and go ahead and take another crack at uh, 12 and 13, and probably uh, do number 15 for me if you didn't already. Thank you.